everybody, this is Jean here, Jean True Love, coming to you from my very bare dining room. <laughs> well, it's getting bare and bare. Um, if you're just tuning in, um, I have a quilting tutorial show here on YouTube, but I haven't been quilting lately in my sewing room because we are downsizing and um, I've had to put my quilting aside for a little while and pack up our home and we're moving into a smaller house. Um, if you wanted to see what our house looked like before, <laughs> what my pretty room looked like before, it's been deconstructed uh, a few videos ago. Um, this is my dining room, and as you can see, um, we're getting ready to hopefully sell the furniture. Um, we have been, uh, I've been gifting and I've been donating quite a lot of my things. Um, a lot of people have been asking, you know, have been um, sort of commiserating with the whole downsizing thing and saying, oh, you're being so um, helpful. I have, I have that coming up or um, it's, it's uh, something we've just done and your attitude is very good. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to be all positive. It will be good. People are saying, you're trying to convince yourself. I'm like, yeah, um, it'll be good. It'll be good. Um, our son is making it possible for him for us to move into his his home. He's bought a new home um, But it's much smaller than our home here. Um, my positive attitude went out the window the other day. I Was so tired. I, I thought I, I listened to my body. I thought I had to sit <laughs> I sat I sat I had a cup of tea and I said I was so tired I was so exhausted because because mainly right now I'm doing the um, not the physical work uh, again if you if you're just tuning in we have 10 children some of them are helping here at the home front um, I have friends who's coming in bringing boxes and moving things out to the pod yeah but I'm primarily going through our things um, which I want to do it's a it's more of a uh, if anybody of you've done this, it's sort of a personal journey, you know. Um, I've I've not been ruthless, but I've been surprised at myself to be able to um, sort through my. I have beautiful things, be, you know. You know, patting myself on the back. We have beautiful things. Sort through them and say, you know, I've had my enjoyment from them. If I donate them or if I gift them, um, somebody else will. I have china, I have china teacups, I have antique little things. A lot of it is yard sale and garage sale stuff. Maybe it's at the end of its life. Um, but uh, donate it, um, give it away. So um, I've been doing that, but the other day I hit a brick wall. And I, people think, oh, I have so much energy. I, 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 I don't really have a, that much energy. I said I had 10 children, I expended a tremendous amount of energy. I have bursts. Of energy uh, early in the morning I go um, but I'm no martyr I've always just taken care of myself and sat down even when my babies were little when the children were sleeping I would have a nap I've always taken it steady uh, to be able to carry on through the day and this whole process is very 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 difficult um, as so many of you can attest to that you've had to do it the other day I sat I just sat I was so mentally and physically and emotionally and everything exhausted that I woke up having not slept very well um, and then I just sat about 11 o'clock in the morning everyone had gone <laughs> I did I did something I never do I I got undressed and I crawled into bed and I slept till three o'clock in the afternoon and I don't do that and I listen to my body and I'm like, I need some sleep. I need to regenerate, rejuvenate, which it, which it helped to get back on, to, on track and do stuff. So this is a bit of a mess here, um, but it, there's, there's semblance of order here in my dining room. Now, as the, this video is a, little, a few clips of a, a few th little things. And as you know, people who know me know I'm a little bit all over the place, but I'm going to be showing you the uh a, a small video that i took when the room was intact of our ceiling you can't see it here but our ceiling in this living room my husband and i uh, about 20 years ago decorated this room and it was it's just a rectangular long room it's about uh, about 19 foot wide by about 13 foot long it's just a long rectangular room with you know french doors out to the patio 
And as I was, as I was decorating it, I thought, I, I love this wallpaper down here. And then I, I painted, I hand painted the walls and I did this real pretty effect, whatever. But I had gotten a border when borders, borders were in, um, in vogue. And I had gotten a border, but I didn't get one border and I got six. <laughs> Me, not, more is never enough, right? My husband says, oh, I'll put the border up. And I'm like, well, actually I have six borders. And I can show you the borders I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's funny. So we hand painted the ceiling. Um, and long story short, um, four of our children are little angels up on the ceiling. I'm going to put a little video on of, of how we did the ceiling. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so that's that video. And then um, another thing that happened yesterday. <laughs> And people are like, oh my word, this is getting serious, your life. We have owned an RV, a large RV. Um, it's been in our driveway um, for about, again, for about 20 years. And because we had such a large family a million years ago, um, everyone was living here and our older children were able to drive. Well, going on a family vacation uh, at one point was extremely prohibitive, you know, to get but we would have needed three or four hotel rooms and then eating out. So my husband and I decided to get a used RV, a large, large RV that slept six comfortably, eight a little bit uncomfortably, but there was 12 of us. Um, and we always, um, so we bought this RV, really nice, had a slide out, it was all, it was lovely, um, very comfortable, kitchen and everything. Um, but as we were buying the RV, we have our older children and we always owned a huge van. We've always owned a van. Well, I was saying we wanted to go to Disney World, which that's where we vacationed. And I said to my husband, well, all of 12 of us can't fit in this RV. So what we did is we bought a, um, we bought a used RV, but we bought a brand new pop-up camper, uh, pop-up camper, which at the time, that had two slide-outs. It was really, really nice, and it had an air conditioning unit. We're going to Florida. Um, so we bought this very nice pop-up camper that pulled along behind our van. So our older boys drove, in, uh, they were independent, they drove the um, van with the pop-up, and then my husband and I drove our RV with our younger children in it. We went convoy. We went in convoy, usually down to Florida and camping in Fort Wilderness. And it was, even though it was an initial outlay, it was much cheaper in the long run. Our RV has served us beautifully. It's been all over the country. It's been up to Canada. Um, it's been, it's been absolutely wonderful up until about four years ago. And then all of the children were getting married and starting their own families. And we, we just weren't into it as much. So it's been sitting in our driveway for a while. Yesterday, oh no, Saturday morning, we were coming home from our ministry. We pulled in and there's a chap standing at our door um, asking about the RV. Did we want to sell it? And my husband and I were thinking about it for a while. Like, should we sell the RV? But who wants a used RV? You know, it gets like, I got... 10 miles to the gallon. <laughs> My husband would get six miles to the gallon, right? So, and nowadays, you know, you see these RVs for sale, but it's a really nice RV, but it's been sitting there for a while. So this guy came and we're like, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Anyway, he was very serious. We, we struck a price. He came back, he came yesterday morning and he bought the RV. And so Maxwell, <laughs> As you know, our son Maxwell, he's 20 years old. He's autistic, but he was all excited. He's like, oh, we're selling the RV. He remembers just one, he, his memory's not great. He remembers one, uh, uh, we used to go camping at a campground called Bulls Island in New Jersey. It's, it's closed down right now. Um, but it was a beautiful, we went all the time to Bulls Island. Um, and he remembers that. So what I'm saying is he took my camera and he's videoing the RV leaving. And so you'll hear him say, I remember Bulls Island. That's what that's all about. But I was, so he took the camera and I said, just take the camera. And <laughs> he says, come out and, and video. And I'm like, I had to just take my bra off. I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm not going out there, right? And so he's like, he's like, come on, mom, come on, mom. And 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 um, he, he's, I'm, I'm editing this video. I'm looking at the video, and he goes, my mom's a bit of a mess. I'm like, thanks, Maxwell. Throw me under the bus. Throw me under the RV. Anyway, so that's that little clip. So there's a little clip of our ceiling. There's a little clip of the RV. There's a, a clip of me right now. 
say I'm going to get on with my downsizing, um, but I just wanted to check in and um, say thank you for all your prayers. I truly, I truly um, believe that we have been um, praying so fervently for strength um, because, as I said, this is very, very difficult. But I'm managing, and I don't think I could have done that um, without Jehovah God's Holy Spirit guiding me. I truly don't. Um, I just feel strengthened, and I feel motivated, and I feel I feel okay um, about this. I'm, as I said, I'm having I had a little bit of a meltdown the other day. I was really upset, crying. My husband must have known <laughs> my my uh, my negative energy went up to the universe because my husband called. I was the mess. He called. He says, "I'm taking you out," and and I haven't been really cooking a lot. Um, you know, we're living on cereal, which is fine. But he's he's like he took me to a local restaurant, and I had like protein. I had steak. I had two Guinness. I was desperate for a drink, and um, he knew it. He says, "Let me get you out of the house." Um, but then I came back, and again, I'm listening to my body, and um, so many other people have done this. And you understand if you if you have done it, um, the angst involved, um, the emotion involved. We've lived in this home for 28 years. It's a large home. Um, as, again, if you haven't seen pictures of it, I had a lot of things, tons and tons of things that I can't take with us. Um, but it's going to be okay. Um, it, it's it, it really is. I'm looking forward. I I, I had decorated as much as I could, and I do love to decorate. Uh, the one thing also, I'm looking at my dining room that way, and I will take a picture of it. I had beautiful curtains. I'm reusing them, and we're reusing this rug, hopefully in my sewing room. Um, I will be taking pictures, but very soon, and I might take some I might take some pictures, we're going to start packing up my sewing room. That's the last thing we're going to do. Um, I, my, uh, my husband and my boys were saying, we're going to buy special boxes, you know, all the exact same boxes, um, not just like boxes from the state store, and all the exact same boxes, and take my sewing room in one fell swoop over to my new sewing room. We have to deconstruct, we have to take all my fabric out before my boys can take the shelving out of my own sewing room here. We're going to reuse everything, as I think I've told you before. We're not buying anything new. Maxwell needs to have everything that he sees, every lamp, every doily, every piece of china, every single piece of furniture is exactly um, what we have here. We're not buying anything new. The colors of the walls are going to be the same. Um, I, I've decorated what I like and that's what I like. So we're taking it to our new home. So, but I'll, I'll share the journey along with you. I'm going to just throw this up on, um, I'm going to edit this real quick. I've gotten pretty good with my new editing thing. Um, so I can do this fairly quick, and then I'm going to get on. I'm going to get on with it. Oh, Maxwell, if I don't check in before Wednesday, Maxwell has an appointment at the neurologist down in Philadelphia at St. Christopher's um, with his new with a new doctor. It was upsetting. I'll, I'll stop for in just a minute. Maxwell's been seeing his own neurologist for the last four, uh, since he was four, since for the last 16 years. A lovely, lovely, lovely doctor. Um, I will mention her name, Dr. Kurana. Dr. Kurana, um, we had an appointment um, in the end of uh, or the beginning of November with Dr. Kurana. Unfortunately, Dr. Kurana, about three miles from here, her her husband, who was a leading surgeon at Penn Hospital somewhere in Philadelphia, and her daughter, 19-year-old daughter, were in their private airplane, and it crashed about three miles from here and they all died. They were visiting their only other daughter who lived in Ohio. And she was so well loved and such a beautiful neurologist, such a beautiful person. Um, and I had to tell Maxwell and he was, he was visibly shaken, visi visibly upset. And the neurology department at St. Christopher's has been wonderful. So he will be seeing on Wednesday coming, this coming Wednesday, um, another, another doctor. Um, and a, 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 a doctor's assistant, physician's assistant, who's taking over for Dr. Corona. A real loss in the medical community. Um, yeah, that was a, that was a terrible, terrible thing. How how utterly terrible. But I'll let you know how that gets on. How how Maxwell gets on with his neurology department, with his neurologist appointment. Um, how I'm getting on with my boxes. 
uh, my downsizing and everything, but I'm going to go right now and show you some pi silly pictures of our ceiling. I think you'll get a kick out of it. And Maxwell for filming the, video, the um, RV going, saying goodbye to our RV. Every, everyone's, everything's going. That was okay, but it seemed, somebody said, oh, it's getting serious. <laughs> and I'm like, that was just coincidental. And it was, a, it was an okay thing. So, uh, the, the RV is going to Florida. It's going to live in Florida now. Isn't that funny? Three guys came and said, oh, we love it. We're going to take it to Florida. So that's our RV. That's gone. Um, our house will soon be gone, all my bits. But um, it's going to be good because we're having a new life in our, another house. It's only 10 minutes from here. It's only 10 minutes from here. Um, and so we're going to get on with it. All right, folks. Thank you so much. Have a lovely week. If I don't talk to you, or see you later. I'm busy. Um, and thank you again for tuning in to see us, uh, the True Love family. We really appreciate it. All right. See you later, folks. Bye. Many, many moons ago, when Maxwell was 18 months old, about a year old, I painted the ceiling, my husband and I. And there's our Maxwell throwing up a garland on the ceiling. I have lovely lace. <laughs> These are my angels up on the ceiling. There's Niles. I have the four younger children. There's Niles um, on the ceiling. Let me see if I can walk around here. Can this is our ceiling? My husband and I hand painted it and cut out the flowers, which are part of the wallpaper. We had a party and I put these paper chains up. Oh, there's our chandelier that we're taking. Yeah, there's our chandelier. That's one of the chandeliers that we're taking. And then here, as the, the uh, sky continues, this is 20, 20 years, 25 years old now. All of this wallpaper, it's in pretty good nick. Oh yeah, I have a disco ball. Doesn't every dining room, formal dining room need a disco ball? There's our daughter, Malia. Uh, it's way before digital photographs, right? And digital cameras. Oh, excuse me. They were getting ready for school out of the shower, as you can see. And I said to Malia, oh, hang over. I said to all the children, hang over the banister. Pretend you're catching something. She goes, what? So she hung over the banister. I, I, I sort of laid on the ground. That's how I got that image. And then I envisioned her catching the garland. And then I, Francois who's now 28. Francis is going to release two birds. <laughs> oh, people go, oh my word, what were you smoking? <laughs> no, it's just, it's just, uh, just my imagination. Just my imagination, yeah. So now this is, this is my sad part. Here is my, um, it's, I'm tearing it to bits, so you must excuse us. Um, here is my china ca cabinet. Uh, which I suppose, except for my good china, which is my, um, which is over here. I know people are starting to twitch. I have so much. My good china is right here. I have my Royal Albert. I got this here, my Royal Albert. And then I have, um, I have this, my turquoise, uh, teach my china. I got bits. These are the bits I'm taking with us. Um, just a few bits of my china uh, that I really don't have room for, but I'll find room. Just this china. Um, but my lovely china closet, which is filled with my gems. And I didn't really have to dust this. This was behind glass. It's all right. It's fine. What I did have in here that I've taken out, and I've taken it out, it looks quite empty, <laughs> is all my children's goodies. I, I've packed them away. All my children's, uh, you know, things from, from their school, and I, oh, I had all their little, their little sculptures and everything in here. Yeah. So I've already taken that out. I've already taken them out and um, packed them away. So this is my china closet, and maybe, maybe, just maybe our one son is going to take the dining room furniture. I have two large, two large buffets here. Um, oh, everything that has a blue tag, we're taking, a blue, uh, blue masking tape, we're taking with us. Um, so that's my great-grandmother's clock, my little 
uh, my little jewelry thing there. So we're taking that. I'm taking all my apothecary jars, and you'll be seeing these in my sewing room filled. My husband's like, what do we do? We, we entertain a lot, but like, and we have lots of drink, and, and my husband's like, well, we can't. There's no room for this. I said, I'm taking it. And uh, these are all empty. I've, I've pretty much emptied out all my drawers. Again, I've, you know, when it comes to it, there's going to be no surprises. Everything is empty. Um, I'm taking my rug. I think you might be seeing, this is a really good woolen rug. I think we might be, I didn't want to get rid of it. So I think we might be seeing this in our, my sewing room. I will see, but I did not want to part with my rug. So I believe there's enough room. We're going to map it out. And I have to show you right now. There's, there's all my bits. This is all my cut glass. Um, I have to show you right now. My, my room is a mess. You see these two chairs? I've just, I've just, um, I ha I'm going to put it, I'm going to put a, um, a before picture. My husband trash picked these two leather wing chairs. This is, these are going in my, in our, um, front room. And I've just, you, you can see a little bit. I've re, I've re, uh, repaired all the cracks. I will put a picture up of the cracks. These were tr in the trash and I've re dyed them and refilled the cracks with leather conditioner and leather stuff it's not 100 percent and the dye doesn't quite match but man these are really good solid chairs and i'm like what we didn't want to toss them out the backs are perfect the sides are perfect it's just that the um the the the, the dye i got it's just it doesn't quite match but these are beautiful leather chairs that are going in our red room in our red room so anyway that is just a little bit of our dining room my ceiling which i'm going to miss can't take my ceiling with me. <laughs> and uh, some of my, my lovely bits over here. My paintings. Can't take them with me either. Ah, never mind. Uh, here's a picture. Obviously, we're going to take this. Here's a picture of uh, our family. When we were when we were just six children. This is when we just we lived in, in Canada. My husband and me. We move our six, just six little children. So obviously that's coming with us. Tons and tons of stuff. Oh well, never mind. I made those curtains years ago. And uh, again, every room needs a disco ball. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Maxwell here, and I'm in front. Of, I'm, I'm outside, and my RV is gonna be leaving us. And it's cold out here. I hope you stay warm and don't freeze, bar. Um, and sorry about the mess, folks. There, there's the RV. My, my, my dad and the new owner is doing the bills of sale or whatever. How selling a car works. Going to be selling it. So, yeah. I remember Bulls Island. If you remember that, it's a park or a campsite, rather. And that's what I remember about it. And my mom's hiding inside. She. She's a mess. And, and excuse the, the wavy hair today. I'll, I'll cut back when the RV starts leaving. And yeah, you get to see, see you there. And there it goes. Bye RV. You'll have a new home.
Yeah. Let's call it the high road IV. Bye bye. Be safe.